We are in New Orleans. We're in New Orleans. And this video is gonna be about the very best things we ate in the three days we have here. You can't come to New Orleans and not have a beignet. We are at the legendary Cafe du Monde. Yes. But we were here a few years ago on a bike tour and we learned what I think is a great trick. There's a Cafe du Monde in City Park. It's Saturday morning around 9 a.m. and it is such a pleasant experience. There are no crowds like in the French Quarter. Same experience with a lovely view of the park. And if you have kids, a playground right over there. This is a beignet. Mm. Where are you going, Hazy? It's good. It just needs um, a little bit more powdered sugar. I also got a frozen iced coffee, frozen coffee, which is very good. It's also sweet, but delicious. It's nice and it's like 8.30 and it's already pretty warm. So this is very refreshing. How warm is this here? The heat index today is 114. You know you're in a city that loves food when you see this massive smoker over here. That is some serious barbecue goals. Right, Ken? Absolutely. You know, it's a city that knows its heat when you bring your industrial sized fans to the park. Thank you, You're welcome. We took a quick break from the heat and stopped at the Louisiana Children's Museum, which was great. And now we're doing our own kind of like little DIY po boy tour. And our first stop is Parkway Bakery and Tavern is one of the most iconic ones, I believe. They were feeding po' boys to the people, the streetcar strikers in the 1920s. Uh, we've never been here. Our favorite up until now, I think, was Domalisa's, but we're gonna give a couple more a try. Cheers. We're in New Orleans now. That's a Bloody Mary with a punch. West Virginia. Yeah. So evidently the two famous ones here are the roast beef, which I've never had a roast beef po'boy, and the fried shrimp. And we also got some fried pickles for good measure. This is the uh, roast beef. It's good. This is great hot sauce. Crystal. Louisiana's pure. She tried to discourage us from getting smalls and sharing them. We are going somewhere else. You could definitely feed four people on two small sandwiches here. No problem. Our next po' boy stop is Louisa's by the track. I think it's a popular jazz fest destination. It's horse themed. That's the fairgrounds. Don't know, but they're famous for a garlic barbecue shrimp po' boy and a fried oyster po' boy and we've got some gumbo. And I might, I think I prefer this place already. Me too. This um, gumbo is like, probably some of the best gumbo I've ever had. I love it. So good. So flavorful. I think it's so good. This one feels more local. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this one's got a really good vibe. But this gumbo is like... It's really good, it's like light, it's not like super stodgy and it's very good. Fried you oysters fried oyster. are to die for. No, let's try it. And I know fried oyster. Mm. Alright, fried oyster. A little bit of crystal on it. Mm. Watch this, Daddy. Watch this, Daddy. Watch this, Daddy. Watch this, Daddy. Should we just come back here every day? Why we're here? I could eat this every day for lunch easily. It's like, I mean, it's like saturated in the most delicious garlicky, oily. I mean, this is game changer. They're both incredible. Come here and get this one. I'm uh, looking for ghosts. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh, there's definitely one over there. It's the next day. Um, we're feeling a little bit rough. That'll be the next video. We spent this morning on a ghost hunt. We're going on a ghost hunt, baby, baby, 
train gates for ghosts. But now we're at Turkey on the Wolf, which is on every single list. I've heard about this place for years, have never been. And they're very famous for this collard melt. Looks delicious. Absolutely as good as everybody said. We also got a fried bologna sandwich, and some kind of cabbage salad. And it's about 11 a.m., so time for a frozen margarita. I mean, that'll sort your hangover right there, won't it? Wow. So satisfying when somewhere lives up to the hype. That place was great, but the other really great thing about it is they had like a vat of Duke's mayo. You know, you know, where you can just go pump and get as much mayo as you want. We didn't actually need it for anything. But... Paige? Awesome. Can you say happy Father's Day? Happy Father's Day! This is Seafood Sally's. This is Seafood Sally's! And we've been in New Orleans about two days, and this is our first raw oyster. So we are playing catch up, and they're delicious. When it's happy hour, they're $1 each. We got a dozen, we're gonna be getting another dozen. Yeah. Oh, that, is, that is really good. You can get it off. Stick your outfit. Oh, you're a pro. Ooh. Now, stick it in your mouth all at once. Just you know how to put stuff in your mouth all at once? Stick it all up. Stick it in. Stick it in. Oh, isn't it good? It's delicious. It's delicious, isn't it? Oh, we get to get another dozen now. We wanted more oysters, uh, but the place we wanted to go, Cooper's Tavern, is very strictly 21 plus. Then we were going to try Maple Street Bar, which is a famous music venue that was on my list because Anthony Bourdain was there. But they don't serve oysters, and it's also 21 plus. So we went on a walk, and we found ourselves at Bure. Thank you. Uh, which I think is famous for like chicken wings. We're having the kimchi lemongrass chicken wings and also boudin. I'm good, thanks. I'll unwrap it. But I've never had boudin. Has anybody had boudin? That's kind of sausage, right? Yeah. It's oh. real sausage. Have had it. They had some. But more importantly, this place has like mist coming out of the outdoor area and there are other kids here. The food is secondary at this point. Oh, and New Orleans, frozen drinks. I was going to say it was my first, but I had a frozen margarita this morning but we have frozen gin and tonics and frozen pink flats. Ooh, it's like, do you eat the casing? So boudin, it's pork and rice. Maybe you don't eat the casing? I don't know what this is. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like barbecue. It's good. Yeah, it's not a sausage at all. I thought it was a sausage. I just really learned that Louisiana like Cajuns don't consider it a sausage. Yeah. Makes sense. He let us out front. Wasn't that nice? playing with two lovely kids and we started talking to their parents we wanted more oysters you what we started talking to the parents we asked where we could go get more oysters they recommended superior seafood uh, which was on my list I was curious about but I pretty firmly answered tablecloths I'm upside down Haze I'm upside down Haze subscribe to my channel But they have uh, the, the new friend we made also recommended the frozen French 75, which that is really good. I know this is like the best thing we ate in New Orleans. Not the best thing we ate, but still worthy of the list. Okay, also the service here was actually terrible. So I guess I recommend this place if you like love French 75s and you want a frozen one. Otherwise, no. <laughs> We enjoy 
enjoyed Turkey and the Wolf so much yesterday that they have a second restaurant called Molly's Rise and Shine, which is even closer to our hotel. It was a really lovely walk for all the, like, the fancy homes in the Garden District. Uh, so we're at Molly's Rise and Shine, which, bonus points, is incredibly kid-friendly. There's a basket of cars, a big tractor, for your table numbers you get to pick out a trophy. Uh, so our food hasn't come yet, but I think we're already very happy. Yesterday's place was incredible, those sandwiches, but I mean, this is like equally as good. I mean, the quality of the food is unbelievable. The sign outside said, don't sleep on the carrot yogurt. So I'm not, I'm not going to tell Hayes it's carrot. I don't know what's in here. It's very good. I mentioned that our hotel is walking distance, so we thought we would show you where we've been staying this time in New Orleans. So the Poncho Train Hotel, uh, it's in the Garden District, which is an area we haven't stayed in before. I've been to New Orleans, I don't know, five or six times. This is our first time as a family, and this location has been perfect because it's a little bit more quiet, more chill. It's right across the street from a streetcar uh, stop, and that is obviously something Hayes loved. You can get to the zoo, to the aquarium, to the World War II Museum, all over the city. There's tons of dining options. Um, and it's just been a really good bait. This hotel was built in 1927 as a luxury apartment building, and it's been a hotel since the 1940s. But don't worry, it was renovated in 2016, but they did a really nice job at like keeping that like vibe, but in a nice way. So I will let Pete give you a, a quick room tour. Okay, this is a family suite here, and lovely big spacious bathroom with a bath shower, also known as a shop. Um, and a little bit of a view. Uh, I learned that the other day from someone who was doing a room tour. Yeah, oh. it's like a shower and a tub. You call it a shop. It's good. When is a tub not a shower? Oh, I guess I'm okay. Anyway, yeah, see, it's good, right? Yeah. Big king bed here. This is obviously our room. Great view. Got awesome view of the. Uh, I guess those are like the bridges. I don't forget the Maybe. name. Anyway, downtown New Orleans, the Superdome, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah, whole separate room. For Hayes, he's had two beds, which yes, he's used both of them. He slept in- And he slept on my parents' couch one night. So yeah. Really um, but also plenty of room here for storage. This, like the hotel, it's a super old building, but very spacious. We've been very comfortable here. So, and like I said, I love the view. The view has been really nice. Makes these rooms really light and airy. We, uh, we'll show you an even better view. I think tonight we're gonna have a drink at Hot Tin, so. Insert us enjoying the rooftop bar. Cheers. Look at this view. Pretty cool. And there's some like heat lining as well. Cheers. Shower in a tub. Shop. So we've come to uh, Louis Armstrong Park, Congo Square, for some of the Juneteenth celebrations, and also for Hayes' first ever snowball. Mango coconut, of course. We're about to go to Preservation Hall, but we came back to this place we were ghost hunting, mainly because nobody told me a hurricane had passion fruit in it. And so we're doing the very touristy thing of drinking a hurricane on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, which I'm pretty sure no locals do. This is my first and last hurricane. I don't like it. It's not as fruity as I thought it would be. It's strong. Yeah. Yeah. It's very strong. I can't make any promises that this is my last hurricane. Anybody want a jello shot while I'm in here? Not me. No? No jello shots? I got a frozen sex on the beach. <laughs> I'm not going to mind that there's no air conditioning at Preservation Hall. Mom didn't want a hurricane, so she's getting a frozen drink. I'm here at Cafe Lafitte in Exile, which evidently is the, the place where you got the hurricane. is like the oldest bar in the States. And this is the oldest gay bar in the States. Don't quote me on any of this, but so they claim. Trumbo. Trumbo. It's okay. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Okay, unfortunately you can't film here, but we just saw the Preservation Hall band at Preservation Hall, an iconic jazz venue, without air conditioning from the 60s uh, in the French Quarter. Uh, maybe it was touristy? I mean, it was definitely touristy. It was all tourists, but it was, it was so fun. The trombonist was like so nice to haze and like doing his thing in his face. It was fantastic. I would, cannot recommend that place or highly. It's the first time I felt like too hot. And it uh, is kid friendly. So it's one of the only places you could probably bring a kid to see music in New Orleans and you should absolutely do it. Watching Hayes watch performances is my favorite thing. Ethiopian food where we're from in Chattanooga so we're in a city and it has Ethiopian food there's a very very strong chance that we are eating it like we are tonight at Addis Nola we have a sampler of I don't know almost everything on the menu it's a great thing about having a big group it was actually recommended by somebody who posted this on Instagram who just posted recently that she was at uh, our, our favorite bar in Hoi An, but also did two of our favorite tours with our friend Na. And then we were like, we're going to New Orleans in two days. Send us your recommendations. And this was on her list. So thank you to her. I'm blanking on her name. Amber. Amber. Thank you, Amber. Good reminder. If you leave a comment or a suggestion, whatever, we do follow it. Yeah. <laughs>